Hello and welcome to another sprint demonstration on an LVOX a programming guide using the door station today. Uh, we're going to be going through a few basic programming sequences that you can do via the door station instead of using the save prog software so that way you don't need to use a computer. We only do very basic things using this uh, interface mainly because uh, you can get a little bit more technical online or on the save prog software um, and the save prog software works really well so we do prefer it uh, but changing things like the lock time and whatnot uh, we do tend to use this quite a bit okay so here's a close-up view of the buttons so you can see behind where the top button is you can see number one and an arrow number two you can see there's another arrow for the right number three you can see there's a cross and number four you can see there's a tick so this is how we actually navigate through our menu where we go left right we cancel what we're doing or we accept that menu okay so we're going to be adding in a 10 button expansion module for that first of all you obviously need a 10 button expansion module at the back you will see that there are some pin connectors you connect in using the ribbon cable supplied plug that in and your 10 button expansion module will start flashing as you can see uh, when it's flashing it means that the 10 button expansion module has not been programmed yet to do this you must first of all enter into programming mode on the door station so you hold down number one until it beeps Type in the passcode, which default is 1234. Now that you're in programming mode, this is the first menu option on that um, sheet within the manual. And so to accept, we're going to hit number 4 or the tick. There's a different sequence in flashing, and all you need to do is push any button on this expansion module to register the two. That is now linked together, and if you were to push one of these buttons, it will go through the calling process but we don't have a handset plugged in at the moment obviously uh, next thing that we're going to go through is the lock time uh, so to go back into the menu we hold down number one type in the default passcode which is one two three four now for this sequence here we're going to go all the way across to until these two lights are both lit up so we're going to go two 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 and so now we can see that both of those lights are lit up and so this is our menu to change our lock time so we hit four or the tick to accept at the moment this is currently set to five seconds now default is actually at one we're going to keep it at five seconds so we can actually keep it there lock time will be five seconds back to the main menu now we're going to go to our button configuration whether we change it between rockers single buttons or double buttons so for that one we need to have this light lit up and this light lit up so we're going to go across 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 and there it is so we're going to accept that one now at the moment this is currently set up as a single button so this will be button one two three four etc however for this job we're going to do a rocker button so to put it into that position we need to have it as a single button which is like that and now units will be one two three four five six etc to accept that we hit four and that's now saved that into the system if we wanted this whole unit to be just one big button we can go back into that by hitting the four the tick and then we put it down to be across across until all lights are lit up and then accept so now that is just one big button that would mean that this next button will also be a big four button as well last thing that we're actually going to change today is the audio level so to get to that menu you need to go until you see these three buttons lit up we're going to hit ok at the moment 
this is currently set to the max volume that you can actually have so from default it will actually be on level 3 which is about 75% um, we're going to put that up to the max just because this could be a uh, loud outdoor environment and we want it to be as loud as possible and we can accept that there and that's nearly everything that we actually use within the manual programming of the door station uh, the most uh, utilized one is obviously adding in the 10 button expansion module um, everything else you can do via save prog but the thing that you do need to do manually through this programming is actually enabling the 10 button expansion module